Hey guys, I wanted to do just a little kind of sit down, um, quick little catch up video since I haven't posted in a while other than some cleaning and organizing videos. So I just got done folding a ton of laundry. Let's see, I feel like that's all I ever do. I know you moms totally get that, but let me see here. I'm gonna try to prop you guys up. Right. Nice. See, all this laundry came in handy for something. So, anyway, um, I. Just wanted to let you guys know kind of what's been going on and where we've been and get you up to date so we of course started our school year in August I um, was hired on to work in uh, the three-year-old preschool class at um, the church that we go to and um, it's actually in the class that Gavin is in so, um, that has been wonderful. It is, um, such a rewarding job. I, um, love getting to spend time with the kids and, um, miss them when we don't have school. Um, but of course then I am in class with Gavin, which has had its own struggles just I think um, the barrier of mom and teacher um, is a little bit hard because of course he it is just you know when something goes wrong he wants mom or um, you know so it's kind of it's been an adjustment for both of us it is getting better but um, but yes it's been great I really enjoy it I'm there three days a week uh, and ju it's just half days. So from like 8 to 12.30, give or take a little bit, sometimes one, sometimes a little bit later, sometimes a little bit earlier, just kind of depends on things that we have to do. So that has been wonderful. Um, so like I said, Gavin is in three-year-old preschool right now. Um, and he actually is almost four. He will turn four here in a couple weeks. Uh, Easton is now in first grade. I know it's crazy. I cannot believe that he is in first grade already. Uh, he is reading and writing and um, just growing. And as exciting as it is, and it's so fun to see them like growing and uh, being more independent. Both of my kids have always been very independent. Uh, and Derek and I kind of, I guess, force them to be independent. And that sounds terrible when you say it, but, you know, we like to let them do things and try things. And, um, and I think that obviously there's times that they can't do it or, um, it's hard for them, but I think that sometimes that's the best way that you learn. Now, of course, we're not going to let them, like, get one of our sharp knives out or things like that. Um, we're not trying to get them hurt, but we do want them to learn. So, um, anyway, uh, he is in that. Gavin played his first season of t-ball this fall. Uh, and Easton played flag football, and he had not played that before. Uh, they both did great. Gavin was kind of, um, it was kind of rough. Easton started at three, like Gavin did. Um, sorry, I keep looking out the window. Easton should be home from school soon. But, uh, yeah, Easton started t-ball at three, and he was ready. Very easily, he was ready. So we decided to start Gavin at three, and he um, 
just wasn't as ready. And all kids are different. Um, so it was just kind of a trial, and he liked it, and he had fun, but really he was there to see his friends and to have a snack. Every time he would come, like, off the field, either from hitting or from playing, he would say, can I have a snack yet? Can I have an icy <laughs> from the concession stand? So that was fun. Derek coached um, t-ball, and then Easton played flag football, and he um, – did wonderful. He loved it. He, um, and they both are very athletic and all boy. So, um, I think he really enjoyed trying something new. But, um, but yeah, we're actually just starting, Easton's starting basketball season. Um, and he is playing, uh, in the group older than him. He is, he's a December birthday, so he's kind of, He's not, he's kind of in the middle for his class. And he played he, here where we live. It is either kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, and then of course the older grades. So a lot of his friends are a little bit older than him. So they're in second grade. So he, um, and he is equal in size and he's kind of grown up playing with all of them. So it kind of just made sense to move him at the same time that they were all moving. So he's going to play in that. He has his first game this weekend. So he is, um, he is excited. Uh, also, on top of all of that, I um, took on the position of the PTO president at Easton School. And it has been... Um, of a whirlwind it keeps me busy there's a million things to do um, but like I said just like teaching at Gavin school it is um, it has been wonderful and I I like going to the school and all the kids know who I am and they're all giving me hugs and um, you know, I think that in 10 years or 15 years when my children are graduating high school or even in, sorry, I got some on my eye. Um, even in five years when um, Easton will move up to the other side of the school, of course, and then he'll go to middle school and Gavin will be on the other side and there will be a point that they don't want me there. And so I'm kind of soaking in right now as much as they do want me there. And like I said, I think that when they're done with school or when they get to that point of not wanting me there, as overwhelming and stressful at times as being on the PTO is, I am... Um, I don't think I will ever regret it. Um, I think that volunteering at your kids' schools, if you have time um, or if you can make time, is something that you won't ever regret. Um, so I, uh, I have enjoyed that. And like I said, it, it has not been easy. Uh, there's a lot that goes on with... Um, with being on the PTO and there is a ton of course I can't speak for every other school but there is a ton that the PTO does and pays for that you would be um, you'd be blown away I before starting never realized that um, you know things like construction paper or laminating paper or things like that uh, when they get low and they can't get more money from the school or wherever the PTO usually steps up and pays for stuff like that and a school our size which I know is not huge um, it's not small we're K K2 
so kindergarten, first, and second grade, and there's like 325, I think, kids um, in the three grades. Uh, but still, it's um, it really is uh, a lot. I'm sure that your PTO does a lot as well. So, anyway, that is kind of our life update. Derek, of course, is working, still working the same job, still playing drums on the praise team um, at church, and um, like I said, he coached Gavin's baseball team, and um, and then, of course, in the spring when they start playing again, I'm sure he will help. Easton will move up to coach pitch, but he will help with those, I'm sure. So, that's kind of about it. I, um, yeah, we are busy. We are in a very um, busy season of our life, and we're at a point where we are really trying to um, declutter and minimalize. So when we do have times that we're not eaten up with our schedule and work and school and projects and activities that were not consumed by the stuff in our house and you know you're always going to have to clean things but I think that if you can go through things clean things out get things minimalized which of course I'm not in any way a minimalist. I have a lot of stuff and I like my stuff and we've worked hard for what we have, but um, I think that in the long run it will make things so much easier. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so um, glad to be back. I love just the interaction with you guys and the positive feedback that I get and ideas and um, you know, I never quit watching YouTube. I uh, have quite a few channels that I watch regularly. Uh, so um, I just, I missed it. And it it's work and it does take time, but um, it's been great. So I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys are doing good, and I hope that you guys will stick around and see what we have coming up over the next few months, um, especially headed into summer. I think we're going to do some fun traveling. Um, I know at least at some point in the next, well, towards the end of the year, I'm not sure plan-wise. Um, I don't know if you've watched Kristen Casper um, and her family um, over on the Casper family. But she just announced that they are selling their house, selling everything. Not everything, of course, but basically everything. They're going to buy an RV and travel across the United States. When I heard that, I was very jealous. Um, just because it is going to be such an amazing experience for them and their family and their kids. And uh, they're going to homeschool their children or road school their kids. And I just, I think it's going to be, it's going to be great. Anyway, they are going to make their way to the East Coast. And I am just crossing my fingers that, well, I'm not really crossing my fingers because she knows she better come this way. Kristen, you better come to my house. So, um... Be on the lookout for that. My best friend um, from Alaska is getting married in July. So I'll be traveling to uh, Washington where she'll be getting married. So lots of fun stuff. Actually, like three and a half weeks, not even a full month before that, my friend Danielle is going to be having her little boy. And she lives in Washington. So um, that one I am crossing my fingers that um, I can make it work that I can stop and see them and see Miss Hadley and um, that new sweet little baby boy. So anyway, stay
stick around so you can see what we're up to, and I will see you guys next time.